Welcome to the studios of WCMU Public Television. This time on Quiz Central, Mount Pleasant takes on Traverse City Central. We've got that coming up for you next. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kulhalvy Event Center. Hello everyone, I'm David Nicholas and we welcome you to our 19th season of Quiz Central here on WCMU. This time students from Mount Pleasant are taking on the team from Traverse City Central. Now before we kick things off, here's the format for our single elimination tournament. Our two competing teams will be independently challenged with an identical set of questions. The school that answers the most questions correctly in the time allotted advances to the next round. And we'll continue with that process until we crown a Quiz Central Season 19 champion. At the end of the season, four lucky Quiz Central seniors will receive a book scholarship provided by the CMU Bookstore, and top teams from Quiz Central will qualify for the NAQT High School National Championship Tournament. Now, let's get to our game. Our first round is the Maroon and Gold Rush. Our teams will have just two minutes to answer or pass each question. Each correct answer is worth 10 points, no point deduction for any incorrect answers. Students will be able to consult with their teammates on each question, but the final answers will be coming from the team's captain. Let's get things started with the team from Mount Pleasant. Good luck, players. Here comes your first question in today's Maroon and Gold Rush. What author of the 1638 book, Discourses on Two New Sciences, supposedly dropped two balls from the Leaning Tower of Pisa? Galileo. That is correct. An English governess believes that a malevolent ghosts are haunting children named Miles and Flora in what 1898 novella by Henry James? Is it Madame Marie? Is it Madame Marie? The Turn of the Screw? That is correct. What monarch put down a Cossack rebellion led by Yemelian Pugachev, took the throne after Peter III's death and was an empress known as the Great? Yeah, Catherine the Great. That is correct. What woman who founded the Roots and Shoots program conducted research in Gombe uh, Stream National Park where she observed chimpanzees using tools? Yeah, Jane Goodall. Correct. What member of the first triumvirate lost the Battle of Pharsal uh, Pharsalus to Julius Caesar after which he fled to Egypt where he was assassinated? Oh, Mark Antony. Yeah, Mark Antony. Incorrect. What novel in which venomous yellow-spotted lizards inhabit Camp Green Lake was written by Lewis Sacker and named for Holes? objects that Stanley digs? Holes. Correct. Sydney is the capital of what most populous Australian state which lies north of Victoria? Qu Queensland. Incorrect. What state in which a monument known as its Guidestones was bombed in 2022 is represented in the Senate by John Ossoff and is governed from Atlanta? Oh, Georgia. Correct. In 1892, James B. Weaver was the presidential candidate of what agrarian third party that supported uh, bimetallism and the regulation of railroads? Wigs? No, it's not Spockless. Wigs? Uh, not that is incorrect. What sculptor included Fugitive Love and Paolo and Francesca among the pieces inspired? I'm sorry, the bell signals that end of the first round. Good start, players. Well done. All right, thanks, Mount Pleasant, Traverse City Central. It is your turn. Good luck to you. And here comes your first question in the Maroon and Gold Rush. What author of the 1638 book, Discourses on Two New Sciences, supposedly dropped two balls from the Leaning Tower of Pisa and supported heliocentrism? Galileo. Correct. An English governess believes that malevolent ghosts are haunting children named Miles and Flora in what 1898 novella by Henry James? 
What monarch put down a Cossack rebellion led by Yemelian Pugachev, took the throne after Peter III's death, and was an empress known as the Great? Catherine the Great. That is correct. What woman who founded the Roots and Shoots program conducted research on Gombe Stream, uh, Stream National Park where she observed chimpanzees using tools? Good all. That is correct. What member of the first triumvirate lost the battle of Pharsalus to Julius Caesar after which he fled to Egypt where he was assassinated? Mark Antony. Mark Antony. Incorrect. What novel in which venomous yellow spotted lizards inhabit Camp Green Lake oh. was written by Lewis Sacker and named for objects? Oh. That is correct. Sydney is the capital of what most populous Australian state which lies north of Victoria? New South Wales. New South Wales. Correct. What state in which a monument known as the Guidestones was bombed in 2022 is represented in the Senate by John Ossoff and is governed from Atlanta? Georgia. Correct. In 1892, James B. Weaver was the presidential candidate of what agrarian third party that supported... Populist party. That is correct. Sorry. What sculptor included Fugitive Love and, and that bell signals the end of the round? Good start for both teams. Just one missed question to revisit from the maroon and gold rush round. The member of the first triumvirate who lost a battle to Julius Caesar was Pompey. Traverse City Central gets an early 70 to 60 point lead after that first round. And before we go to the next round of today's Quiz Central, let's meet the players competing today. First up, we say hello to the students from Mount Pleasant. Hello, I'm Taylor Pellis. Uh, I'm a senior at Mount Pleasant, and I compose music for fun. I'm Luca. I'm a senior at Mount Pleasant High School, and uh, I'm on the robotics team. My name is Mame. I'm a junior at Mount Pleasant High School, and I'm on the student senate. Hi, my name is Isaac. I am a senior at Mount Pleasant High School, and I am in the board game club. Welcome, Mount Pleasant. Good to have you here. And now, let's say hello to the team from Traverse City Central. I'm Jackson Price. I'm a senior at Traverse City Central, and I do band and cross country. I am Arthur. I'm a sophomore at Central High School, and I'm on the debate team. I'm Heli. I'm a sophomore at Traverse City Central, and I play <coughs> tennis. I'm Henry. I'm a sophomore, and I'm in band. All right. Thanks to all of our students. Now, the next round today is called the Perfect Ten. In the Perfect Ten, our teams will be given a category, and they'll have 60 seconds to answer or pass on each of the 10 questions pertaining to that category. Correct answers worth 10 points with no point deduction for incorrect answers. Our Perfect Ten category for today is the Atlantic Slave Trade. Answer the following about the history of slavery in the New World. Mount Pleasant, good luck. You are up first, and here's your first question in the Perfect Ten. The main crop that fueled slave demand in the U.S. Wait, cotton? Correct. English name for large farming estates worked by slaves. Plantation. Correct. Country whose slave trade William Wilberforce helped abolish. Haiti. Would it be Haiti? Haiti. Incorrect. South Carolina port home to a major slave market. Charleston. 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 Correct. Author who said slavery birthed capitalism in Das Kapital. Oh, Marx. Correct. Triangle trade leg that sent slaves to the Americas. Middle Passage. The Middle Passage. Correct. Country founded by Toussaint Louverture's slave revolt. That's Haiti. That is correct. Snail shell currency used, uh, currency often used to buy Africa. Oh, sorry, we uh, just hit the bell there. Didn't get that question in, but a good job in the perfect 10. Well done, players. All right, thank you, Mount Pleasant. Traverse City, good luck to you. Your turn to take on the perfect 10 with this, your first question. The main crop that fueled slave demand in the U.S. Cotton. Correct. 
English name for large farming estates worked by slaves? Plantation. Correct. Country whose slave trade William Wilberforce helped abolish? England. Correct. South Carolina port home to a major slave market? Charleston. Correct. Author who said slavery birthed capitalism in Das Kapital? Marx. Correct. Triangle trade leg that sent slaves to the Americas? Middle Passage. Middle passage. Correct. Country founded by Toussaint Lavature's slave revolt? Haiti. Correct. Snail shell currency often used to buy African slaves? Cowrie. Correct. And that bell signals the end of the round. All of them in, but uh, the last two we didn't have time for. Well, that concludes the perfect 10 with both teams quick with those answers. Traverse City Central extends their small lead. Next up, our game is the home stretch. I'll have more questions for our teams, and correct answers are worth 10 points with no point deduction for any incorrect answers. Mount Pleasant, best of luck. Here comes your first question. What author wrote about the Porteous Riots in his novel, The Heart of Midlothian, and described a Saxon knight who serves King Richard I in Ivanhoe? Oh, I don't um, know. Sir Walter Scott. That is correct. What highly active volcano in Hawaii, whose crater is considered sacred oh. by native Hawaiians, has erupted twice? Malawaya. Correct. What ballet, including an Arabian dance and Waltz of the Flowers, has its dancers portray Clara, Drosselmeyer, the Mouse King, and the Sugar Plum Fairy? Oh, um, Nutcracker. The Nutcracker. Correct. Over one week in August 1877, Asaph Hall discovered what two natural satellites of Mars? Phobos and Deimos. Phobos and Deimos. Correct. What operation in which Brigade 2506 was defeated after landing at the uh, Playa Hiron was a botched CIA-backed attempt to topple Fidel the Castro in 19... I'm sorry? The Bay, of, the Bay of Pigs invasion. Correct. What former salesman is pelted with apples by his angry father after turning into a monstrous vermin in Franz Kafka's novella, The Metamorphosis? Yeah. Gregor? Correct. In November 2022, Anwar Ibrahim became prime minister of what Asian country whose monarchy rotates among the rulers of states like Pahang and Jahor? India? Incorrect. What nine-letter word can mean a combination of functions like G of F of X and yeah, can also mean numbers such as 12 and 21, which are products of primes? Composite. Correct. What British industrialist who founded the diamond company De Beers led the Cape Colony in South Africa, funded a namesake scholarship to Oxford? Oh, uh, Vasco da Gama? Vasco da Gama? No. Incorrect. Yeah. What country was the site of the Bataan Death March in the 1986 People oh. Power Revolution, which brought Corazon Aquino to power yeah. over Ferdinand Marcos? Where's it Cambodia? I don't know. Cambodia. Cambodia? Incorrect. What Shakespeare comedy centers on Antiphilus and Dromeo, who discover they have both long lost twins, also named Antiphilus oh. and Dromeo? I don't know. Othello? Incorrect. It's not a comedy. What yeah. organization, which was founded by William D. Boyce and inspired by Robert Baden Powell, uses a merit badge system mm -hmm. and teaches outdoor skills? Yes. Boy, Scouts. Oh, Boy Scouts. Correct. What play in which a fountain pen is stolen by a protagonist's son, Biff, tells the story of suicidal Willie Loman and is by Arthur Miller? Death of the Salesman. Correct. What British lieutenant sailed with Captain George Vancouver, mapped the Pacific Northwest, and lent his name to a sound in Washington State? We don't know past. Yeah. Hudson? That's incorrect. What office in the Roman Catholic Church may be permanent or transitional, 
ranks below a priest and assists with mass and other services. Deacon, Honor. maybe? Is a father or deacon? I think deacon. Deacon? Correct. And that bell signals the end of the home stretch. Good, strong round, players. Well done. Thank you, Mount Pleasant. Next up, Traverse City Central. Good luck to you. Here comes your first question of today's home stretch. What author wrote about the Porteous Riots in his novel, The Heart of Midlothian, and described a Saxon knight who serves King Richard I in Ivanhoe? Scott? Correct. What highly active volcano in Hawaii, whose crater is considered sacred by native Hawaiians, has erupted twice in 2023? Mauna Loa. Incorrect. What ballet, including an Arabian dance and Waltz of the Flowers, has its dancers portray Clara, Drosselmeyer, the Mouse King, and the Sugar Plum Fairy? Nutcracker. Correct. Over one week in August 1877, Asaph Hall uh, discovered what two natural satellites of Mars? Phobos and Deimos. Correct. <clears throat> what operation in which Brigade 2506 was defeated after landing at the Playa Ron was a botched CIA-backed attempt to topple Fidel Castro? Bay of Pigs. Correct. What former salesman is pelted with apples by his angry father after turning into a monstrous vermin in Franz Kafka's novella, The Metamorphosis? Gregor Samsa. Correct. In November 2022, Anwar Ibrahim became prime minister of what Asian country whose monarchy rotates among rulers of states like Pahang and Johar? Oh, is it Malaysia? Thailand. Incorrect. What nine-letter word can mean a combination of functions like G of F of X and can also mean numbers such as 12 and 21 that are products of primes? Composite. Correct. What British industrialist who founded the diamond company De Beers led the Cape Colony in South Africa and funded a namesake scholarship to Oxford? Rhodes. Correct. What country was the site of the Bataan Death March and the 1986 Philippines. People Power... I'm Philippines. Sorry? Correct. Philippines. Yes. What Shakespeare comedy centers on Antiphilus and Dromeo, who discover they both have long-lost twins, also named Antiphius and Dromeo? Othello. Incorrect. What organization, which was founded by William D. Boyce and inspired by Robert Baden Powell, uses a merit badge system and teaches outdoor skills? Boy Scouts. Correct. What play in which a fountain pen is stolen by the protagonist's son, Biff, tells the story of suicidal Willie Loman and is by Arthur Miller? Death of a Salesman. Correct. What British lieutenant sailed with Captain George Vancouver mapped the Pacific Northwest, and lent his name to a sound in Washington State. Puget. Correct. What office of the Roman Catholic Church may be permanent or transitional, ranks below a priest, and assists with mass and other services? No. Deacon. Correct. What 1959 jazz piece, the best-selling jazz single of all time, was written by Paul Desmond and as a title reflecting its unusual time signature? What? Take five. Take five. Correct. What country? And the bell signals the end of the home stretch. Very good job, players. Well done in that round. Well, at the conclusion of the home stretch, let's revisit the incorrect answers. In November 2022, Anwar Ibrahim became Prime Minister of Malaysia. And the Shakespeare comedy that centers on Antiphilus and Dromeo, well, that's the comedy of errors. Both teams continue to perform well, and Traverse City Central holds a 280 to 220 lead with one round remaining. Teams, that's the final countdown, and it's your last two minutes to answer or pass on our questions. Correct answers worth 10 points. No point deduction for any incorrect answers. Mount Pleasant, you are up first. Good luck in today's final countdown. Two minutes on the clock. Here's your first question. 
What 19th century poet wrote about huddled masses yearning to breathe free in a poem written for the Statue of Liberty called The New Colossus? Um, Walt Whitman? Yeah, Walt Whitman. Incorrect. The Jacob's Ladder plant belongs to what large family of plants that includes vanilla and is named for a notoriously difficult to cultivate plant? I, I don't know. Pass. What city where 21 people died when a flood of molasses swept its north end neighborhood has a harbor yeah, that was Boston. the site of a 1773 tea party? Boston. Correct. The DeVos family owns what Eastern Conference NBA team, which was the first professional team for which Shaquille O'Neal played? The Lakers. Incorrect. What composer is known for a viola symphony, Harold in Italy, as well as a five movement work depicting a witch's Sabbath, his symphony fantastique? Berlioz. Correct. The provisions of Oxford were signed by which English king who fought Simon de Montfort in the Second Baron's War and was a son of King John? I have no idea. Richard? Incorrect. What poet wrote Five Years Have Passed in Tintern Abbey and collaborated on lyrical ballads with Samuel Taylor Coleridge, a fellow British romantic? Um, I don't. Was it, was it Thomas? Thomas? Incorrect. What island, which is home to Montauk Point State Park, the Hamptons, and the borough of Brooklyn, is south of Connecticut across a namesake sound? Manhattan. Long Island. Oh. Incorrect. Long Island? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Had to take that first answer. What two Latin yeah. phrase, uh, two word Latin phrase is used to indicate that an economic figure such as GDP, uh, sorry, we didn't get through that question. That was the bell. Uh, and that got us to the end of the final countdown. Good job. All right, Mount Pleasant, we wish luck here to Traverse City Central. Here comes your first question in today's final countdown. What 19th century poet wrote about huddled masses yearning to breathe free in a poem written for the Statue of Liberty titled The New Colossus? Lazarus. Correct. The Jacob's Ladder plant belongs to what large family of plants that includes vanilla and is named for a notoriously difficult to cultivate plant? Ivy. Ivy? Incorrect. What city where 21 people died when a flood of molasses swept its north end neighborhood? Boston. Had... Correct. <clears throat> The DeVos family owns what Eastern Conference NBA team, which was the first professional team for which Shaquille O'Neal played? Lakers. Incorrect. What composer, known for the viola symphony Harold in Italy, as well as a five movement work depicting a witch's Sabbath, his symphony fantastique? Pass. The provisions of Oxford were signed by which English king who fought Simon de Montfort in the Second Baron's War and was son of King John? Is it like Edward? Edward II? Incorrect. What poet wrote Five Years Have Passed in Tintern Abbey and collaborated on lyrical ballads with Samuel Taylor Coleridge, a fellow British romantic? Byron? Incorrect. What island, which is home to Montauk Point State Park, the Hamptons, and the borough of Brooklyn, is south of Connecticut across a namesake sound? Long Island? Correct. What two-word Latin phrase is used to indicate an economic figure such as GDP has been divided by population? Up. Oh. Per capita? And that bell got in at the end of the round. We can't accept that last answer, but good job, players. With the final countdown wrap-up there, let's take a look at the questions that were missed. The Jacob's Ladder plant, named for a notoriously difficult-to-cultivate plant, were orchids. The Eastern Conference NBA team that was the first team that Shaquille O'Neal played for, we were looking for the Orlando Magic. And the English king who signed the provision of Oxford that was Henry III. The poet 
who wrote, five years have passed, was William Wordsworth. And finally, that last question that came at the bell, asking what two-word phrase is used to indicate an economic figure that's been divided by population, we were looking for per capita. A well-played game by both schools today. Traverse City Central punches their ticket to the Quiz Central Season 19 semifinals uh, with a final score of 310 to 240. Thanks, Mount Pleasant. Good job, players, and we thank you for joining us this season. And we'd like to invite you to join us again next week right here on Quiz Central, or you can watch games anytime online at WCMU.org. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kuhalvi Event Center.